Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, I got another cool little pickup for you today. This time I was at Walmart just shopping around, looking around, and I was over in the tool section. And I saw these 17-inch uh, uh, pry bar hyper tough, and I seen that the uh, the grip was a different color. So I figured I'd just go ahead and uh, just pick it up and uh, have it to compare against the other one. Um, it looks to be the you know pretty much the same thing, just uh, lettering and stuff different, you know, a little bit different about it. But anyway, guys, we got uh, made in the USA is what this uh, product says right here on the packaging, and it is a limited lifetime warranty. This is a 17-inch pry bar with economic grip with the striking cap on it as well now they do so on their website uh pry bar set but it looks from the pictures that they're not they don't have any striking caps on them they're just a regular pry bar set so um anybody you guys out there have that uh set uh just put it in the description or whatnot uh, let, let me know what uh if they have the striking caps on them but like i said it looks like it doesn't um, the part number for these, I don't really uh, see. Maybe it's right here, HPB12, and it says dash 12 HC as well. So you guys get a, get a quick look at it here. It does have like a black oxide finish on it, and it's a, a square uh, stock shaft. Um, you get to the point right here. It's got a nice little uh, sharp edge on it right here. Uh, the tip's uh, pretty wide. I don't know the angle. It doesn't say anything about the angle. And you come to the other end here, you got uh, a texture grip on it, a hard plastic texture type of grip on it here. And then you got your uh, warning labels on here about wearing safety glasses and stuff like that. Uh, and then you go just on the other side, you got your Made in the USA and you got Hyper Tough uh, painted on, printed on with the uh, Hyper Tough lettering. Uh, so this says that it's 17 inches and we'll just go ahead and we'll just run up tape measure down it from the top to the bottom and I'm getting 16 and uh, three quarters of an inch so not quite 17 so here's the older the older model when you put it up next to it you can see it is a little bit longer now this one is exactly 17 so uh, that's one difference about it and then you get to the end here if you can kind of see here uh, the cut both the ends look about the same the way it's, the taper is the same um, now I do see I notice here that this older style looks like the material is a little bit thicker down here than this like it's a little bit thicker of the material this is a little bit thinner but the uh, shaft and the shank is all still the same they just like they might have just ground some more of this down and you come to the other end um, try and get it this way it does have the same type of texture material, except that uh, the Hyper Tough is uh, a little bit smaller print, and the Made in the USA is also uh, a smaller print. But it's you know, basically the same exact thing, and even the uh, the striking caps on the back, it's the same style of uh, striking cap on the back. But but for under ten bucks, you know, right around ten bucks for this uh, pry bar, not bad for a Made in the USA product. But like I said, it's a little bit undersized. The, uh, the angle on the end, uh, the steel, where they bent it, uh, the grind on it is a little bit different. Like they took a little bit more off the bottom of this. Like I said, it's not quite as thick. But uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you. God bless you. And like I said, I will put in the description how this tip holds up under, uh, under load, under pressure. Uh, if it's going to bend a whole lot easier because the material is a little bit thinner. But we'll see. Time will tell. All right, everyone. Thank you. God bless you. And just have a great evening.